Hello viewers, welcome to my new tutorial Facebook API conversion. I'm Rahul, professional freelancer, Google Analytics 4 and Facebook API conversion tracking expert. If anyone needs this service, they can hire me. So today's topic is about how to track purchase event. So let's get started. So first of all, come to your uh, Google Tag Manager and connect to the debugging mode. I have already connected it. And now I will purchase the products so that I can see the purchase data layer here. I want to see the purchase event in the debugging mode so that I can track that event properly. I will buy three products So you can see there are three products I have uh, added to my card and I'll purchase these three products now. Let's check out. So I will configure this purchase event just like the begin checkout. Uh, I will uh, send the parameter and value name to the event manager like I mm, did in checkout. So let's purchase this. I'm purchasing three products you can see here. You can see I have got the purchase event. And uh, if you go to the data layer, you will see under the items, you will see under the items, there will be three products one, two, three. So um, here, first of all, uh, I have to create some variables to send this item ID. I have to send this three item ID, three item ID and three item uh, name, uh, three products item name. So for that, uh, we have to use the JavaScript, custom JavaScript because otherwise we cannot send that so let's get started so let's create variable first first i will create the variable to send this id id name this id name i will create to create variable to send this item id number So for that go to your user defined variable click on new and you have to give a name here so I have already copied here everything I have already written down so first of all uh, you have to you can see here this is the JavaScript code this is the um, custom JavaScript code so first of all, I will create a variable, you can see here, there is a variable name, it will be a P product, a P purchase product, you have to copy this from here and paste it. Like the detail variable.
so why am i giving this uh, dealer e-commerce.items because if you see this uh, custom javascript code here i am calling this uh, name and uh, here e-commerce.items from e-commerce.items if you see the detail there e-commerce.items under items there are three product right there are three product and from these three product this code will only uh, this code will only take this item id you can see here you can see here item id returned items dot item id i am sending this item id if you want to send item name name then you have to change this you have to change this you have to copy item name from here and you have to paste it here so i will copy this now so uh, before that um, let's save this and i will create another variable called i will give the name of this variable uh, product id because first of all i will send the uh, product id um, click on the variable configuration and select this custom javascript here i will paste this code so by using this code i am sending this sending item id you can see here item id all item id under ecommerce.items under all item id under ecommerce.items will be go to facebook pixel but through this uh, custom javascript code so go to google tag manager and just save this now uh, again uh, create a new uh, variable for name i will send the name okay why i am sending this because uh, these are the uh, four parameters that i have to send to facebook and for this um, parameter i am creating the value for this parameter so these are the value i am creating and for value i, I am creating variable so let's copy the next one this is the product name purchase product name so you can write uh, write anything you can write like this or you can write as you wish so just select the custom javascript and you have to uh, create custom javascript for product name product name means item name item name i'm sending item name now so copy this item name and item name uh, this item name is under ecommerce.items okay so i'm i'm copying this and here i will change this i will replace item name uh, on item id in the place of item id so now just copy this code go to google tag manager and here just paste this code now save this now i'll create another um, variable for purchase value for purchase value just see the data layer of purchase if you want to take the value from here so here you can see at the bottom there is a value but this value is under e-commerce you can see the e-commerce here e-commerce you have to take this e-commerce then uh, directly you paste the value but you have to use dot here e-commerce dot value value is 775 now save this now uh, i have uh, created the variable now i have to create tag and triggers so let's create tag for purchase 
so click on new and give it a name a b purchase tag click on tag configuration and you have to select this facebook picture archive and select the facebook picture facebook picture variable this is a b picture constant variable and here you have to select purchase standard event purchase and now we will add the parameter and property value there are five parameter and property value so copy this content type so what is the content type content type is product you can type product here and then content id so content id is So I have already uh, created variable for content ID. So these are the content ID. I have purchased three products. So if uh, if you uh, have many products under items, all will go to event manager. So these are the items ID. So I have created a variable for that item ID. Here you can see DLP FB purchase product ID and name. So you can see I have created this by custom JavaScript. Select it, and now I'll keep the content name parameter and its property value. So select this. A B purchase product name. Now the next one is value. I've already created the hello property value the values variable is this del p purchase value and the last thing is currency DLV AP currency where is the DLV AP currency have to select DLV AP currency okay I am not getting it so let's create a variable for currency AP currency name it this this by the currency little variable is um, e-commerce dot currency little layer is e-commerce dot currency variable name this is the name so go to the data layer and copy this currency and paste here now save this I have seen I have already uh, configured almost everything content type content ID content name value currency all property name and property value this is the property name property value so now click on the trigger and I have to uh, create a trigger for purchase. So, give the name FB purchase. We purchase trigger. Click on trigger configuration, and this will be custom event. And you have to copy it from here in some website. This purchase is different, so you have to copy it from here. What is 
so let's just copy it and paste it and save this uh, it's saying the container uh, already has a trigger with this name okay just change this name save this now everything has been configured just save this now i will check this tag whether this tag is firing or whether uh, the data the property name and value which i have put uh, is going to the event manager or not so i'll check everything now so let's be connected I'll purchase I'll purchase some products to check it I'll purchase three products So let's buy these products and see whether it is working or not. You can check out. This was us. Begin checkout is firing. You can see for begin checkout also everything is coming correctly the purchase has been completed you can see the purchase tag here and it is firing g4 purchase tag this is success and let's see in the event manager you can see the purchase here also and you can see there are three products that i have purchased and the product id number and the product name if you want to check just come to your website and see the product you have Purchased. You can see Boho Bango Bracelet Green, Lemon T-shirt Green, Boho Bango Bracelet Aqua. You can see here Boho Bango Bracelet, Lemon T-shirt, Boho Bango Bracelet. And the product uh, IDs, you can check it from here. In the data layer, under items, you will see uh, 4092, 4089, 4091. You can see 4092, 4089, 4091. So everything is working properly. So, so thank you so much for watching my video and the tutorial for Facebook API conversion tracking from browser side has been completed. So if you have not watched my video, so watch it from the beginning so you will understand how you you will you will configure everything. So thank you so much for watching my video.